did LA give up too much to get a guy who has been labeled soft, although he puts up 19 and 9, which only 11 other guys do? Is that a trick question? You tell me. They gave up Kwame Brown. Who first cares? rounders. I could, I could kill him. into his salary for first years. of all. Understand something. When you're giving up first round picks, if you are a quality team in play in playoff contention, it really doesn't mean that much. That's number one. Number two, and more importantly, Kwame Brown is gone. The city of Angels, Hollywood, just should be celebrated. Throw a parade already, whether you win a championship or not. This man was a bona fide scrub. He can't play. No disrespect whatsoever, but I'm sorry to call tell everybody the truth. The man cannot play the game of basketball. He has small hands. He can't catch the ball. He's got bad feet. He can't really move even though he's mobile. Doesn't really know what he's doing. Doesn't have a post move that he, he puts to memory that he can do two times in a row. He has no game whatsoever. Plays no defense. Doesn't have the heart, the passion, or anything that comes with it. And you're asking me whether this, they gave up too much? Please. The Los Angeles Lakers knew exactly what they were doing. They should be celebrating right now. And Kobe Bryant should not Let's check out the Adidas team moment. And QB, class is in session. Professor Wallace is in the house. That's right. Totally unexpected. You could see he's taking the two young guys here. And he is drawing out what they're trying to do. Now, we naturally, we can't forecast whether... Saul leaves it off. Kwame blows the dunk. Wow. Tied at 99. It's going back to Memphis. What a gift, and they're calling a foul. Kwame will go to the line well, to shoot two. That's a good foul if you're the Grizzlies. But even at, with the foul, they hit him on the head. It shouldn't have affected a two-hand dunk. He's there. He gets hit. But look at the continuation play. That should have been a basket and one. And now Kwame going to the line. He's not a confident free throw shooter to start with. Now he's got the pressure of two free throws with nine seconds of a tie ball game. He's missed his only two tonight. On the season, he is 11 for 29. A low 40%. 33 points so far in the first half with only a minute and a half to play. Tommy Brown not close. He wants a foul. He They're here against Memphis without Zach Randolph. Out too much underneath. Well, I'll tell you what, Kwame Brown should have been able to finish that, did not. Oh, He'll still get two free throws. 26 of the last 30, and 22 of the last 24 in this building. Years. He bricks two. He bricks two. But they went in the lane too soon. Yes, he's going to get another opportunity. Can he go for the hat trick? Oh, sure he can. Will he go for the hat trick? Oh, sure he will. <laughs> I like it when you go out on that limb <laughs> early. And then all of a sudden you see it breaking. Oh, uh, well, let's see what happens. No net underneath. I feel secure. Where the big hat? Oh. Foul underneath. Now the crowd really should let him have it. He could go for four in a row. I mean, you know the rules as the guy lined up on the lane. You know when you're allowed to go in when the shooter releases the ball. That's an absolute shot put. Four Assist. Foul on Lamar, not Smush, who would have been Smush's first, second instead. Diaw, Kwame's got to watch out. Cuts up with the block, not the foul, and Diaw on his back. Now, the foul, I believe, on a loose ball foul was Diaw. But then Kwame went over. Kobe got in front. And he and Jim Thomas into it a little bit. What kills me, though, is these skirmishes that the players do in the NBA. Because 90% of them don't want to do anything to begin with. It's just that Bravado. He got rid of him after the block shot. He felt that uh, Boris was uh, holding on a little too much, I guess. Oh, and yeah. He shredded him, and then he, after he shreds him, he stands over him. There's the taunting technical and, right there. And I thought it was a loose ball foul. Originally called against Diaw. Well, the first half we had a little bit of a disruption in the action. Everything got back to basketball. Let's see if the same thing can happen here in the second half. I gotta say, it was tough. 
doing that that year. Um, I was playing with guys, you know, God bless you, God bless you, but Kwame Brown. Attention with some basketball. In the meantime, lots of nervous NBA general managers out there because the right. 2011 Kwame Brown lottery is tonight, which will determine who is saddled with Kwame's perennially disappointing numbers and bad attitude next year. Of course, the Bobcats lost last year, forcing them to waste a roster spot that could have been used on a player who doesn't regard the game of basketball as beneath contempt. The NBA's bottom nine teams represented here tonight. And just moments ago, the deputy commissioner announced the final three teams in the running for Kwame. The Kings. The Kings. Minnesota Timberwolves. The Timberwolves. Philadelphia 76ers. And the 76ers. Brutal news for those three teams. Wouldn't be surprised if the loser just folds up the franchise. You're going to get torpedoed either way. Don't give Kwame the satisfaction. No doubt. Good dope fact, though. I find it hard to believe Kwame would apologize for anything. Yeah, probably passive aggressive and unfeeling, knowing him. All right, welcome back to sports, which are housed exclusively in this dome. Plenty right now, they're ready to announce which NBA team will be the loser of this year's Kwame Brown lottery. Our OSN team is standing by live. They're waiting on us, so let's go. Welcome back. Two of these three teams will walk away winners tonight. The other will be burdened with human garbage, Kwame Brown. Without further ado, in the 2011... 2012 season, Kwame Brown will be playing for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Brutal news for the Wolves. Minnesota understandably devastated. Uh, let's take a look at the reaction from Kelly's Bar in the Twin Cities. Obviously, everybody there in shock. Very few words to exchange now. Look at that. And, of course, here we see Sacramento and Philadelphia celebrating. They will not have Kwame Brown on their team. All right, Nicole Weaver's down on the floor for some reaction. Let's go to her now. Thanks, Mark. Doug, you just found out your team will be signing Kwame Brown this offseason. It comes a year after you lost the Darko Melichek $20 million contract lottery. Is no, Darko is a zero, but Kwame Brown is an absolute cancer. Well, what are you going to say to Kwame when he joins the team? I wouldn't speak to Kwame Brown to spit on him. He is a stain on the Timberwolves franchise that will never come clean. I mean, the system is broken. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Mark and Alex, there you go. Kwame Brown takes his rape accusation, disorderly conduct arrest, and idiot face with him to Minnesota. Thanks, Nicole. Uh, Midwesterners, make sure to tell each other, I love you. Wherever there is Kwame, there is an increase in suicides. That is a fact. You hate to have to choose between death and Kwame.